These rats are trying to gnaw their way out of the metal traps. But there will be no mercy as the critters will soon meet their end, chloroformed and then incinerated. That's all in a day's work for Helmi Muhammad Zin, who has been with Kuala Lumpur City Hall's Vector and Pest Control Unit for the past 25 years. The team of eight was conducting a night operation at the Pudu wet market. Eight single traps were set out, and within the hour, four rats were caught. Tak semua pasal yang yang ada masalah tikus ni yang biasa uh, yang saya tahu teruk ni macam pasal pudu, coket, keramat, uh, petaling strip macam tu. Yang lain-lain tu agak kurang. Uh, kurang pasal kita orang pun ada cover bubur racun tikus perangkap macam tu. The team has also installed an urban rat trapping device at the wet market. Kita namakan dia urban rat trapping device URTD. So ni adalah projek Jabatan Kesihatan dan Alam Sekitar Dewan Bandar Raya Kuala Lumpur. Nama kumpulan kita Sihat 21 lah. So ini kita punya inovasi. Alat ni kita cuba untuk set up untuk seperti nature dia. So kita akan pasang uh, alat ni di dalam tanah dan uh, membina sebuah lorong seperti jalan asal dia uh, untuk berjalan se- uh, setiap hari lah. Okay. So dia akan masuk ke dalam lubang tu dan akan jatuh ke dalam perangkap kita lah. So perangkap kita kita akan clear dalam seminggu dua kali atau sekali macam tu. The URTD has won several awards at the Federal Territory Civil Service Sector's Creative and Innovative Group, the Innovative and Creative Circle Convention in 2023, and the Malaysia Productivity Corporation's Team Excellence Convention. Nevertheless, the device is unable to completely eradicate the rats. At the very best, their numbers can only be reduced. Uh, kita dapat tu, uh, kurangkan uh, jumlah tikus, aduan tikus juga ada. Satu perjanji sini pun kata memang uh, tikus tu dah berkurangan lah. According to DBKL Health and Environment Department Director Dr. Umi Ahmad, the Pudu wet market is a hotspot for rats, as there is ample food source. She says it is also an old building with multiple cracks and holes in its structure where rats can tunnel, take shelter and multiply. The fault also lies in the way the waste at these places are being managed. So to eradicate the rat problem, Dr. Umi says public attitudes must change. Rubbish must be properly tied up in bags so there is no chance of them dropping around the bins or rubbish area.